every year at Kristallnacht, Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Memorial Day, and throughout the year, many people in chorus scream, never again, no more prejudice, no more anti-Semitism, no more racism, no more bigotry. And then it happens again. The hatred that sent Jews to gas chambers during the Second World War is the same hatred that killed George Floyd. And so we find ourselves in a time of uncertainty, a time of unrest, maybe a time of despair. Where is the hope? There is one thing that we need to do one thing. If you have a voice, make it heard. We do not have the luxury to remain silent facing this injustice, facing the murder of an innocent man. Now, what can we do for ourselves is something else. We need to remember one thing, is that hatred, just like a virus, takes over your body. And just like a virus, your body will rebel eventually, and your body will develop an ailment, an illness. Hatred is terrible for your health. Not only hatred, jealousy, anger, resentment, these are negative emotions that take over your body and that are terrible for your health. There are also highly contagious and just like any virus we need to take precautions for this virus for these negative emotions so if negative emotions can be highly contagious well the good news is that positive emotions just are just as contagious and that that is really good you see Reb Nachman, Reb Nachman of Breslov, says, if you believe that you can damage, then believe you can fix. If you believe that you can harm, then believe you can heal. And he says, remember that things can go from the very worst to the very best in just the blink of an eye. So, our tradition also says that each human being is a microcosm of the universe. Each human being is a miniature universe. So wherever you stand, wherever you are, you are a universe. And wherever you are, you can create a beautiful universe. You see, it's a period of, un un of unrest, of course. There are demonstrations, there's looting, but then also, there's a beautiful picture of a young black boy with tears in his eyes hugging a policeman. In Coconut Grove this weekend, there was a demonstrator and a policeman embracing. You see, this sustains the world. And you can sustain the world and you can change the world by changing your world. So if there's one thing you can do one thing you can do today is a random act of loving kindness because whatever you can do is you can fight hatred you can fight anti-semitism you can fight hatred you can fight racism and bigotry you can fight resentment you can fight anger hatred with love Random acts of loving kindness will change your world and can change the entire world. At this moment, you can pick up the phone and just say something nice to someone. I miss you, I love you. You can send a message, you can send a text, a very nice text that will change the life of someone or the day of someone. You can order online just a small token of kindness for someone and someone will receive a present from you and that will make a huge difference 
love can spread just as much as hatred. And so we have an obligation to counteract that negativity, that despicable act of hatred with an act of loving kindness. It starts where we are. And the good news is that it will spread with great blessings of love, compassion,